Thank you for tuning in to your Wednesday evening weathercast. Looking at those temperatures throughout the sunrise side, we are dealing with a cold front and you can already kind of see where it's at to a certain degree, especially in Harrisville to Tawas, it's still in those 30s, but everybody else is already falling into those 20s, 25 in Alpena, 24 in Onaway and Atlanta. Looking at those winds, that's actually gonna be better to reflect it. And you can see that northwesterly wind is already starting to enter that Arctic air into the region. It is going to eventually make a, more of an impact into Harrisville to Tawa City as we get deeper into the evening. And their temperatures are going to join the others when it comes to that free fall. But looking at the radar, we have seen snow showers throughout the day. Some of it is also being triggered by the lake effect. You can already see through Atlanta, Mile, and Rose City seeing the heaviest of that snow and beginning to taper off as it gets closer to the shoreline. But those snow showers overall are also going to be on the downward trend as we get deeper into the evening. As the cold front makes its way through the sunrise side and throughout the rest of Michigan on this Wednesday evening, by the time we wake up on your Thursday, we are still going to have those clouds still here the good news is sunshine will begin to funnel in gradually throughout the day and going into your Friday we'll have even better weather. By Saturday we'll begin to increase a little bit those clouds but high pressure will be in control all day on Friday. You can see that very little clouds dominating. We really do need that sunshine because January overall was very, very brutal for the entire Wolverine state. Some areas have not seen a clear day going back to December and even November especially. So we really do need at least some blue skies just to cheer us up now, especially now with Groundhog's Day tomorrow. But by the time we get towards your Saturday night, we are gonna see another disturbance coming in and that's really gonna to begin to trigger a series of a couple of disturbances pushing through with a stronger one for next Tuesday. But looking at your hour by hour for tonight though, those temperatures are gonna fall from the 20s into those teens. It is gonna be a frigid one and we're gonna have very similar numbers going into the next couple of nights, but those clouds will continue to fade on your Thursday. Sunset occurs at 5.44 p.m. And just make sure to just dress up in those layers. Wind chills will also fall into the negatives. So just remember to stay warm the next couple of nights. And then those afternoons will eventually start rising from those low 20s, eventually into those 30s by the time we get towards your Sunday. And that's really when that first disturbance pushes its way through. We'll have somewhat of a quiet day on Monday as we transition from one disturbance and incoming the other on Tuesday. You can see 70% chance. And that one's actually gonna hang around until Wednesday with more snow flurries.